Hello there, <coughs> this is Fred, BinaryOptions.com and we are continuing our Binary Options Academy project with exemplifying how to use the Fibonacci retracement levels in order to find confluence areas. What are confluence areas? So let's write here what we're going to do today is Fibonacci is looking for clusters if you want or Fibonacci confluence areas or clusters in order to trade call or put options when looking at binary options trading. Now what does it mean a cluster? A cluster is a level where multiple support and resistance uh, areas or levels are being are forming and then one can trade call or put options based on that uh, based on that area when price is meeting it. How to find it? Well first of all the thing to do let's consider this is a daily chart on the euro US dollar and this is the move from the highs what's the the highs is 1.40 so we want to take a Fibonacci that starts from 1.40 like this and we drag it, let's make it in black and we drag it all the way to the lows here in 1.05 like this like this so this would be um, um, a Fibonacci that is, being, uh, that is being dragged from the top to the bottom now how to find Fibonacci confluence areas well the key is to go on, the, on, an, on a different time frame the key is to go on the weekly chart first of all and try to measure now the whole move from the highs from the absolute highs all the way so we take another thing and we'll drag it low and we'll put it all the way into the same place not other place into the same place like this and now we're looking for confluence areas. What does it mean? Take a look. 61.8% level. 61.8% level comes. 61.8 retracement in here. It is one Fibonacci level. And exactly the same Fibonacci level or other confluence area is to be found here. Why? We have two different Fibonacci tools exactly on the same or approximately on the same level. That makes this this area that makes 1.24 let's go and try to be as exact as possible so this area here has a confluence area a Fibonacci confluence area also this area here is nothing but another Fibonacci confluence area because we have two important Fibonacci levels that are going on the same or almost on the same on the same pattern. Now at this very moment of time the thing to do is to take the Fibonacci from the screen, delete the lower one, delete the bigger one, and then to go on the daily chart where we where we underlined our our trades, not our trades, our area. And just like that we found two levels based on the bigger time frames daily and the weekly chart two levels where euro us dollar might hesitate on any move to the upside remember these confluence areas should act as a support and resistance namely on the first test it should act as a resistance on the second test on here it should act as a resistance and on a retest it should act as a support and here as well it should act as a support now it is important to put a number on this or a value on this area so just go and take an arrow we go with the left arrow what it is 1.1801 and 1.1870 also what do we have 1.2593 and 1.26 something so around 1.1850 we are going to we're going to uh, actually try, try to trade put options as it is supposed to be a resistance level and then on any move towards 1.25 we should also trade put options now mind the time frame take a look at the time frame we're talking about the daily chart and therefore on any put option you're not going with end of day expiration date because it doesn't make any sense we need to choose as big an expiration date as possible so 
we are talking about um, uh, end of week expiration date and even end of month. Stay tuned for the next part, for the second part, in order to add some more to Fibonacci confluence areas that we are building here.